not always easy to know if your child needs braces or not. Some signs or habits that you may look for are finger or thumb sucking. Uh, if your child is a mouth breather, that could be of some concern for bite related issues down the line. Uh, early or late loss of baby teeth or even missing baby teeth can be an issue. Are their jaws in proportion with the rest of their face? Something else that is an indication for the eye treatment are joint sounds, meaning when they open or close their mouth, do their joints pop? Do they make sounds? Or do their jaws shift upon closure? That could also be another sign for orthodontic treatment as well. The American Association of Orthodontists recommends that all children be seen by an orthodontist no later than the age of seven. An orthodontist has two to three years of extra specialized education beyond dental school, giving them the ability to pick up on subtle problems that may present in your child at an early age. Some of the misconceptions that parents may have about bringing their child into an orthodontist at an early age are that, for one, that they need a referral from a general dentist, and this is not true. Many times, parents can anticipate that something is going on with their child's bite or jaws, and at that time should bring the child in to see the orthodontist. Another misconception I find is that parents wait for all their child's adult teeth to erupt. And again, by bringing your child into an orthodontist at an early age, you are allowing the orthodontist to make a decision as to whether or not treatment is needed in the first place, but also that if treatment is necessary, when is the appropriate time for that to begin? At the first appointment, orthodontists are looking for several factors. When the child comes in, the orthodontist conducts a quick and easy exam where they're evaluating namely the patient's face initially uh, to look at the direction of growth of the jaws and to see if they're growing in proportion to each other. And we're looking at the child's teeth. Does the child have a deep bite? Do they have a cross bite? Do they have an open bite? Or do they have spacing or crowding of their teeth? And is the issue severe enough to indicate orthodontic treatment? Most children, if treatment is needed, will actually start orthodontic treatment between the ages of 9 and 14. It is rare but not unheard of that some children might receive orthodontic therapy before this age depending on their needs. Depending on the case, some of the new breakthroughs available for children today include brackets that are small and sleek that can either be tied in with colorful elastics or that actually can close on their own. Additionally, depending on the child's case, uh, the child may have ceramic brackets which are the color of their teeth or they can have plastic aligners to straighten their teeth out as well. My job as an orthodontist is to give my patient a beautiful smile and my patient's motivation and compliance throughout treatment is essential to making that happen. If I find that my patient starts to not follow instructions as well, what I generally do is show them pictures of what can happen and the consequences of not following instructions properly. Compliance does not end after teeth are moved into their final position. There is a stage of orthodontic treatment called retention where if necessary, your orthodontist will prescribe you retainer wear. If your orthodontist does prescribe you retainer wear, it is essential that you follow his or her instructions. There are many benefits of orthodontic treatment for children. There's obviously an improvement in not only the way their teeth fit together and their ability to chew, but also in the child's ability to clean their teeth, which is important for the long-term health of their teeth. Additionally, many children find a boost in their self-confidence as they have more comfort in their ability to smile.